It's been really badly injured and they pounce out really, really quickly, especially with that long neck. Woo! My name's Jack Randall and I'm a zoologist. Wow! And I'm showing you every animal on the planet. Come on, let's go! In a previous video, I showed you this lake and a population of large terrapins living here. Ah, yes, I can see quite a large marsh terrapin. They have an amazing reputation because they're predators and sometimes they call them the crocodile turtle. Let's see if we can get close to him. I tried to get up close with a crocodile turtle, but that was going to be tougher than expected. They're extremely wary. I may have to change my strategy. It may have to be that I had to dive down. And that strategy wasn't going to work either. And over the past months, these terrapins have been playing on my mind. So I'm back. I need to show you one of these big marsh terrapins or crocodile turtles. We've seen them over the past month. Quite small individuals. There's nothing quite like showing you a really big specimen. Now to get back into the lake. The water has lowered quite a bit since last time, but still it's super difficult to catch them in this water. But then I spotted a terrapin on the banks, which didn't seem to notice me. Woo! Okay, I'm gonna bring him over. Woo! <laughs> That's amazing, I can't believe it. It was very slow, but I reckon the reason being that we've actually managed to get this one. Look here been really badly injured in the past. That may have been a predator. I mean, that might be exactly the reason why these turtles, specifically in this lake, are so skittish, because there are predators around here. You would probably get a jackal, hyena, would easily be able to eat through that shell. That is about as big as these terrapins get. Their common name is the crocodile turtle. They spend most of their time under the water ambushing their prey, waiting for a wading bird to come along. And they pounce out really, really quickly, especially with that long neck. Whoa, you see that? They've got incredibly long necks. They're able to snatch their prey because of that long neck that he actually can't get it underneath that shell just like a normal like tortoise would and just retreat it. They're actually having to move sideways, which is quite cute. And what you'll notice as well is the fact that their eyes are quite high up on their head and their noses. So they can remain underneath the water and just emerge their head and their eyes and nose and keep that only part of their face is exposed as they're ambushing any potential prey on the water's edge. Now, why are these terrapins seen on the banks of this lake? It's because they're cold-blooded, or in scientific terms, they're ectothermic. And that means they can't actually manage their own body temperatures. They need to be able to get the warmth from the sun in order to get their bodies up to their optimum temperature to maintain things like digestion or simply just keep their heart running. But when it gets too hot and too dry, they have an amazing way to stop overheating. You can see these little legs. They've got five little toes and claws which they use to be able to make burrow. And that is the very, very special thing about these turtles. Is they burrow down under the ground when the conditions aren't right for them to live. They can slow down their metabolism to such a rate that they can stay underground without eating or drinking anything for multiple years. And that is how they've managed to survive for many millions of years, almost completely unchanged. As the dinosaurs have been wiped out, marsh terrapins have actually survived over that period. And the marsh terrapin, it's just so dominant across the whole of the landscape around here. It really is the top reptile. It really is. The absolute pleasure to spend a bit of time with him. And I actually wish him the best of luck. It looks like he's done a, a good job of healing up from this predator that's had a, a munch. I'm gonna let this one go and say happy hunting to you and Marsh Terrapin, yes. All right, mate.